don't get what I want, I get what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get everything that I damn well please I don't give a damn if you all listening to me Cause I run it, I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really got it I'm just being honest, I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want it better enough that I'm a Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new What's Here Yes I'm back, I had a company called Viso Music claiming all my videos Even the channel Nefex who owns the music The copyright free, free music got claimed But it was just a big issue they sorted it out But as soon as that happened other companies started to claim I've sorted it all out but I just can't use music at the moment in my videos It can be in my intro but it can't be in the videos Because the intro only has a small part of the song when that gets sorted out, music will be back though, so don't worry. Anyway, this is a new what if. This is, after this, I'm going to take a break from making a bunch of new what ifs, hopefully, and just focus on the ones I made. Uh, there might be like two more new ones that I've had planned for ages but forgot, but that's a big maybe. Anyway, this is what if Deku had every quirk? I know you're thinking, isn't this just what if Deku could copy quirks? No, 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 this is different. This is basically, uh, oh yeah, for like of the next part, it's 35 likes. Basically, Deku literally has no quirk, but he has every quirk. He can make new quirks just by thinking of them, or, or just take any other quirk anyone else has. But he can also amplify the, the quirk of others, and qu whatever quirk that, if someone else has the same quirk, that he's like, took it from them, like copied theirs, he can amplify the strength a lot stronger. And he can merge and he can merge the quirks to make the new ones, etc. And when I mean every quirk, I mean every quirk, including the ones that are villains, including the ones that shouldn't be able to have more than one at a time, like one for all and all for one. Yeah, this is just gonna be super overpowered. Anyway, let's start. When Deku was born, something weird happened. Everyone could feel the world spinning like everything was like breaking apart as if like reality itself was breaking and then everything zoomed into this one boy with green hair who has just recently been named Izuku Midoriya and it all exploded back out of him as soon as this happened a bunch of people rushed towards uh, a bunch of people rushed, rushed towards the hospital which is where the news said it came from and they just see this small child, perfection, laying there, gracefully. And everyone was confused. And Deva, number one hero, I mean number two hero at the time, goes up and attempt, and just touches Azuku's cheek. When he does that, a flame explodes from one side of him. The doctors think that Deva just killed the child until he sees that. Oh, sorry guys, ignore that. That's my PlayStation 5. Yes, I got one. I had to flex it, sorry. Anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they see that it's actually Deku's quirk. And they think it's a mutation of his mother and father's quirk. Similar to Endeavor's. And they think Endeavor may be awakened it where their quirk was so similar. But then, let's say Hawks. Number three here at the time. Comes over and touches Deku, like, because he has a theory. That same time Deku shot in the air as wings popped out of his back. They suddenly realised what Deku's quirk was. Was it that he could copy quirks? As Deku grew up, the only quirks he had was Endeavours and Hawks. As, as he didn't really know fully much about his quirk. He also had his mother's, because of course he's going to touch his mum. But he can't control... Oh, that sounded weird. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Of course he's going to have, like, contact with his mum. He can't really control when he does it, though, yet. So anyone he touches, he, he gets their quirk. So he tries his best not to touch anyone. Deku just... But everyone just thinks that Deku has a really powerful quirk, like Endeavours and Hawks. And Bakugo looks up to Deku. It's the other way around now. Bakugo didn't awaken his quirk yet. <clears throat> But also, Deku can copy people's quirk who haven't awakened as kids. But we're not going to go into that yet. So Deku just flies to school, being one of the young, being the youngest person to awaken their quirk. Actually, no, actually, a baby was born with light. I forgot about that, my bad. And he just flies to school as usual, uses his flames and wing, like feathers to help people like, in the class. 
And then one day, Bakugo's quirk awakened. Explosions. And he went to Deku. Let's just say Deku in this one actually means, like, a hero and all that. He's like, Deku, look! I awaken my quirk. He shows explosions. Like, it's as cool as yours. And Deku still has the same personality. He's like, wow, Gajan, that's so cool. He touches Bakugo's arm, forgetting what happened. Uh, forgetting about his quirk. And explosions pop out of his hand. Bakugo's just eyes widen. He's like, what? But that's my quirk. Then Deku explains to Bakugo what his quirk is. And Bakugo, instead of what would expect in canon, being enraged, eyes light up. It's like, your quirk's so amazing. You're definitely going to be the one number one hero. And I'll either be your psychic or the number two hero. And Deku just smiles. Let's just say there's a time skip. Like, halfway through their last year. Deku started to notice think about his quirk. It's different. <clears throat> And when he closes his eyes, something happens. It's like he goes to another world. And there's a bunch of numbers, symbols. He decides this this time he's actually going to go into it and see where it is. <clears throat> as soon as Deku's in there for about 10 minutes, he realises where it is. He can create quirks here. But it's all seeming very advanced. So Deku already knows what he has to do. He creates a super intelligent quirk with what he can do. And suddenly he understands everything. He boosts his own super intelligence even further. And then he starts experimenting. Oh, let's see. He, the, I'm pretending to be Deku right now, okay? Let's see. Okay, my fire quirk. Hmm, black flames. Strongest flames possible. That's what I will place it with. Ouch. And my the quirk I got from Hawks. Hmm. I'm going to make it so... I can mix my fire quirk with that. And he does. So now he has feathers that are flames. Which means that when he uses them up, he can just grow new ones. So that isn't that he already got rid of Hawk's number one weakness. Where his feathers aren't unlimited. <clears throat> then he thinks, hmm. What next? I know. My quirk makes me heat up eventually. I have an extreme heat resistance. Now Deku pushes his quirk to the max. <coughs> Sorry guys. Deku pushes his quirk to the max and doesn't even feel it. I feel the heat. He's like, yep, that's it. And then he's like, hmm. Let's see. He then starts trying to do the opposite. He creates a water quirk and evolves it into a further ice quirk. He can now perfectly control water. Any amount of water. He can even take it from the air. He can create a massive tsunami. Or he could freeze to the point where he creates a new Ice Age. <clears throat> Deku's thinking, I can't tell anyone about this. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to push myself to the limits. And go plus ultra. Deku just laughs to himself. He's still a huge fan of All Might. Then thinks, I need to be like All Might. Deku doesn't know All Might's full strength. Everyone just thinks it's either super strength mixed with flight. So that's what he gives himself. But to an insane level. Like, I'd say... A billion percent of one of all but Deku has perfect control over it then he gives himself super speed fly in case he like in case his wings aren't good enough he'll use them for turning and his main his actual flight quirk for speed and then Deku thinks telekinesis oh full-blown telekinesis unlike my mother's huh actually I have an idea Deku looks into his own quirk, his original one, which seems to have a lock on it. Mental lock. Deku just thinks, damn it. He put, places his hand on it and can feel power resonating from it. He forces his way into it. He thought it would be harder. Just turns out it wasn't. It was a safety lock. And Deku thinks, okay, I'll take note of that. And it says he can enhance his own quirk. Deku edits this to enhance, say, enhance his and his own quirk. His and others' quirks. And then he changes that. Then he looks at his A, his lifespan. He can see how long he lives. Deku lives to the age of 84. Deku creates an eraser in his mind. This is basically his mind. He rubs out the 85, 84 and puts the infinity symbol. Then Deku just feels an overwhelming rush of power, adrenaline, as his body is stopped the... 
slowly death process that happens with aging. And then he thinks, huh, I don't want to turn old. And he looks at his max age and he says, he, I mean, he looks at his prime age. He says, my prime age is 26. I'll look the young, I'll look the best, at blah, blah, blah. That will be like his model phase where he looks like a supermodel. And he looks it there. That's when he stops aging. And it's like, so I'm never going to die. I really will be the number one hero. Then Nicky thinks, okay, I have flames, wing, blah, blah, blah. And he slowly starts creating more quirks for himself. And then he wakes up. Deku made one of his favourite quirks. It is time manipulation, perfection. He can freeze time, speed up time, go forward in, go into the future, go into the past. We re- re- Rewind time on like certain things, or speed it up, or like in the entire world. So, and he wakes up, he looks at his clock. Thanks. Uh, I'm tired still, but I need to be in class in under one hour. And he just thinks, wait a minute. Oh yeah, he freezes time. Normally, this would be a bad thing to do because like he would still age in it because he can still move. So with this infinite, with like infinite life, Deku just go back asleep. He wakes up fully refreshed, and he get he gets ready while time is still frozen. And I'm freezes. Now he has a full hour to do whatever he wants. He of course done his training in that time, and he made it so his quirk gets a boost. I mean, his body gets a boost. Where let's say if someone did ten push ups, nothing would happen. For this, this is like Deku lifting the world weight. He gets a lot of muscle like def- definition. And then everything just goes normal. Deku hides all his other quirks. That he made, except for the ones known. And he just says that his quirks evolved with his wings. Because they're flames. He can't hide that. <clears throat> and then it goes to the last... Then it goes to the last day before training. I mean, like, before the 10-month training. Deku, go, Deku goes home for a shortcut. Rushing home. It's a surprise for his mother that he's been waiting to do. But then he... He can sense the slime villain. He created a map quirk himself. So he can see everything in a, let's say, 200 mile radius. But since that can overwhelm someone a lot, Deku can focus on certain things. He just stops and says, Ugh, come out, I know you're there. Slime villain comes out and says, Oh, you must have a location quirk. That'll be actually very useful for me when I need to get away from them stupid heroes. <coughs> <clears throat> Especially all my. <clears throat> oh, I have a cough. He lunges at Deku, and Deku just thinks, oh, "I really can't be bothered today. I need to go get home to my mum." He freezes a slime villain in place using his time quirk. That's when all my arrives to just see Deku freezing it, freezing it in time. He thinks that Deku has an insanely powerful quirk. And when Deku uses time quirk, his eyes become clocks. Like night eyes, but I'm going to say they're more bluish or green. And All Might walks over and says, Young man, what is your... Before he can even speak, De- Deku pins All Might to the ground thinking it's another villain. Because he turned up his... Because, like, his low quote... His low... Kata, quirk the map, doesn't have... A sense. He can just sense when someone's near him. And he could see that the slime villain was hiding from him. Deku realises this weakness. And before All Might realises, edit it so he can tell exactly who it is. He stands up and like, sorry All Might. All Might shot. He was just overpowered. He tried to keep his bearings when the kid came at him. But he couldn't. He was easily overpowered. What is that kid's quirk? And then he sees Deku's wings. And thinks, wait a minute, you're that kid, so you can copy quirks and you touch someone. Wait, wait, what? <clears throat> Deku's like, wait, what? How do you know? This is when Deku realises he felt something weird as soon as he touched All Might, as if his body's evolving. All Might suddenly sees a glow coming from Deku. He's like, no, one for all, you copied it. Deku's like, one for all? 
With super intelligence, of course, Deku knows what's happening. It's like, so that's your quirk. He's like, it's not as powerful as I thought, but let me change that. Deku amps up one for all in his own mind, to the point where it's actually as powerful to Deku as it is in the canon, but where he's powerful now, so it matches his power. So let's say a 100% boost for Deku would make him as strong as it did in the canon. Now a 100% boost for Deku would make him godlike. It would be 100 billion percent. Or maybe into the trillions. And almost like, what? And he's like, okay, let me explain. He places his hand on All Might's forehead using telepathy, one of his other quirks. And explains everything. All Might's just shocked at the pure power of Deku's quirk. And explain it to him, but at the same time, Deku steals the information on one for all. Like, he learns it all. And especially all for one. Deku thinks, hmm, interesting quirk, mine. So he basically creates all for one in his mind, but a stronger version. And then All Might says to him, hmm, your body doesn't seem fit to handle one for all at 100% yet. Let me train you. And Deku's like, nah, nah, nah. He's like, my body's just very compressed. Another one of the quirks. Deku instantly uses 100% of all for, one, all for one in his hand and shoots it into the air. Let's just say it isn't 100%, but it's 100% for cannon Deku. It creates an air blast. So that's more like a 1%. For, and almost like, that power's 100%. And Deku says, no, it ain't. It's one. I just amped up a bit. And all that smirks and things. Yep, I'm training you. So, yeah, that's what happens. Deku, of course, gets into UA and recommendation, but he still begs to take the entrance on, which is allowed. So when Deku gets there, he sees Bakugan and runs over to him and smiles. And he has a flashback. A flashback to where he amped up his mum's quirk to telekinesis. Like, pushing it to telekinesis. Like, full-blown, no drawbacks. Like that... Child from One Punch Man, the green haired one. And he goes, and he explains, he puts his finger on Bakugo's forehead and explains. The only one who fully knows a bit more about Deku's quirk is Bakugo and All Might. And ba- Bakugo says, You can amp quirks? Whoa. Bakugo has a thought of asking Deku to amp his quirk, but says, No, that's rude. And he looks up to Deku a lot. And Deku says, No, that's the reason I told you, I want to amp you. He goes to do it, and Bakugo stops and says, Not right now. I want to do it after I get into UA. I want them to see how I am now. That was showing me if I was really ready to be a hero. And Deku says, Huh, fair enough. They go to the entrance exam. And Deku just blitzes past everyone. They didn't even say start, and Ida yells at him, What are you doing? He didn't say start, until President Mike yells down. Being a hero, if you wait for something to happen, it will be a disaster. And Ida realises and says he understood the true reasoning. And Sprint asks him, Deku's easy to destroy robots. And Baku's not far behind him. He's trained a lot more. A lot more than canon. Meaning he's a lot more powerful. And Deku's just thinking, hmm, he's catching up. Guess I'll use some more quirks. De- the flame on Deku's wings spark up even more as he launches out feathers, destroying a bunch of things. And he focuses. The feathers start exploding wherever they're touching, and Baku is just shocked at the pure power. Deku starts using his actual flight school, speeding up and just destroying robots as it is. And he gets bored. He's like, well, they're going to find out I'm more powerful than it seems anyway. He puts his finger in the air and freezes time. I think, so, what quirk do I use? Hmm... That will do. He improves his time getting in the same position perfectly. Just by re- re- oh, sorry guys, I'm really tired. Just by rewinding himself. So he his body moves back to the same position. And he says, hmm, a miniature black condensed control black hole. A mi- a control black hole. And he creates a tiny one that barely anyone can see it. Like this little t- speck of dust but it sucks in most of the robots like that have been destroyed and all that and so Deku can control it he only sucks in a few more alive robots leave the rest for everyone else and he thinks meh I might as well help Nezu out and clean up the mess everyone's shocked at this and just wonders what is his quirk and then Nezu sways through the speaker 
Izuku Midoriya, you proved your point. You've already got any recommendations alone. Please come back to the viewing area so that other participants can actually do the exam. Also, thank you for the help with the cleanup. You might need a help afterwards as well. Deku says, sure, and teleports back to the watching room. Everyone's shocked, but they just ignore it. Until the zero point robot appears. Deku's like, hmm, interesting. Until he uses his locator map and sees that there's a girl actually stuck in front of the robot. He tells us to Nezu and he can't. He sa- and Nezu says, I can't cancel it. I didn't think of this. As remember, Nezu's actually quite destructive. As we can see when he had to do the student versus teacher. And he says, damn it. He teleports back out there and grabs the rubble on Yuraka and chucks it away. He heals Yuraka's leg. Like, heals her and all that. And chucks it across the, like, entrance area. Like, to the where they were, everyone else ran. And he looks at the robot and thinks, huh, not bad. The black flames appear on Deku's hand, and he shoots a huge wave of flames, melting the robot down to basically nothing. I'm just like, ugh, this was fun, and I guess I got to show off my power. Anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you share with your friends, family, subscribe. Get me the 100k subscribers. I know it ain't going to be a tough. Oh, yeah, Happy New Year, my guy, my days. I got so focused on doing everything else. Happy New Year. Maybe 2021's our year to hit 100k. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy. Peace out, guys. Bye.